it right there, Earthquaker. Stop that evil doing. Your low calorie threats mean nothing to me. Take that, Captain Skeleton. And your lunch boxes are no match for the foul weatherman. Now we shall take the cosmic eraser, and with it we shall control the world. Not so fast, Dust Devil. Pajama Man, I'll spin you to the four corners of the earth, do gooder. My handy dandy Pajama Man superpower back says different. Pajama Man, you should. Exactly! Alright! <laughs> it's okay. It's just a little thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. <laughs> Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening, but I'm scared. <laughs> Someone's got to go upstairs and do something about this weather. This looks like a job for... Pajama Sam! I know I left my Pajama Sam cape around here somewhere. I better find it. Hello, Internet! Praise God and welcome to Pajama Sam 2! I am so pumped to do this game. This is a classic Humongous Entertainment game, and as you can tell, the sequel to Pajama Sam 1. So before we start in the game, one really cool thing that Pajama Sam uh, 2 does, and this is the first of the Humongous Entertainment games to actually do this. If you go down here, so you can save and load your games, you can stop. There's a fun game you can play, I will save that for right. later. But what's really important is game setup. You can actually specify which path you want to take from the get-go, if even without Scum VM. So I'm very excited to do that. Now, I'm going to say I want it to play a specific one. I want them to play this one, mainly because Marty is really excited to do the other path. So if we hit apply, you want to start over. This will actually set the game up, but you'll have to reset. So do this at the very beginning, and then it'll take you back to the opening cutscene again. But again, we won't watch it. So essentially, uh, the game starts, Pajama Sam doesn't have his cape, so we need to find it before we can go anywhere. I have to find my Pajama Sam cape before I go. Obviously. Oh, <laughs> well, that was quick. Pajama Sam is ready for action. Now I can go upstairs and take care of all this thunder and lightning. I better get upstairs and do something about this. So that is it was actually lucky. The uh, cape is in one random spot. It could be behind the couch, it could be in either of those drawers, it could be behind the chair, or it can be in the curtain. I got just really lucky. Oh, they're good. <laughs> and as usual, when I play Human Center Timmy games, I've got to click on everything. Because unless I'm mistaken, I don't think there's a Fatty Bear reference in this game that I have found. <laughs> I can't stand that, like, metal blowing kisses. That's better. It's not me! I'm not doing it. Uh, okay. I think we can start going upwards now, can't we? That's me when I was little! Even when he was a baby, he was a superhero. Oh, I like that piano song. That's that's me right now. I'm very congested and I have been sneezing and coughing quite a bit. Hopefully that won't pick up in the game, but anyways. We gotta get to the attic. Oh. 
And doggone it, this game is just so pretty. Okay, here I go! The hand-drawn, like, graphics really look good. I wish they made games like this right, nowadays. that's enough. Pajama Sam is gonna put a stop to this thunderstorming once and for all. Look at where we showed up. Wow! Welcome to Pajama Sam 2. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Yes! So this is where all the weather comes from. Thunder and lightning must work there. So, yeah, in this game, instead of trying to overcome his fear of the dark, Sam is trying to overcome his fear of thunder and lightning. And, much like last time, instead of falling into our closet going to the Land of Darkness, we went into our attic, which teleported us to the Watch World Wide out, Weather Company. And lightning. Pajama Sam is coming. Yeah, he is. This is Bill Gate. No joke, that's his actual name. Hi. What do you want? I'd like to go inside, please. Are you an employee? No. Sorry, no visitors. Aww. I'm Pajama Sam. I need to go inside so I can stop the thunder and lightning. Forget it. No visitors. But... Couldn't I please go inside? No. No visitors. Alright, so he's, he's pretty adamant. Bill Gate does his job very well. Alright, well. We'll have to find another way in. So that's new cement, so we better step off it. Excuse you. A crowbar! I bet this'll come in handy! So if you remember Pajama Sam 1, all of our stuff is held at the bottom of the screen. Whoa! Don't run over that, dude! It's new cement, he has to keep paving it every time you do that. Huh, storage room, huh? Hey, popsicle sn uh, sledden or whatever. Excuse me. Okay. What's in here? That's funny. I think it's empty. Well, we have a crowbar, so why don't we go inside? Maybe we just need a closer look. <gasps> Nice use of the crowbar. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. And we are in! I don't know that guy's name. Probably like Bulldozer or something. And we got out of there just in time. Oh, what's this? Worldwide Weather Employee Identification Card. Foster Boondoggle. Do not lose this card. Maybe there's a lost and found somewhere where I can turn this in. Or, you know, keep it. <laughs> so we are finally inside the Worldwide Weather Building. So this, this is a pretty cool area. It's very different from the Land of Darkness, but nonetheless awesome. Because you got flying saws and flying drills. What's not to love? Let's go in here. Ouch! I guess that's where they keep the hail. Yes, you do not want to go where there's hail without protective headgear. So, we can at least go inside the main lobby. Welcome to Worldwide Weather, sir! Thank you! Oh, nice. <laughs> of course, I have to put that theme in pretty much every humongous entertainment game. So that's the logo for the Worldwide Weather. You've got the sun with the clouds behind it. Yes, that is a painting of Kane on the wall. I'll be available any time should you wish to make a call. Oh, thanks. Hey, that tickles. Hee <laughs> Ooh, the 
old pan and the sea. Oh, oh, oh. that's pretty funny. Catcher in the Rye. It's about a baseball. Catcher in the Rye is about baseball, right, guys? Oh, of course. Grapes of Wrath. Who hasn't made that joke? Did I just hear the anglerfish from Freddy Fish? Our tour guide is out sick today, but welcome to the World Wide Weather Automated Response System. If you know the extension you wish to reach, you may dial it at any time. For our hours of operation or directions to worldwide weather, press 1. To suggest a new kind of weather, press 2. To reach our complaints department, press 3. To talk to an operator, press 0. Alright, let's do the operator. Operator, how may I help you? This is Pajama Sam. Pakistan? No, I'm afraid you have the wrong number. No, no, Pajama Sam. It's my name. Oh, I wouldn't know about that. I suggest you try a delicatessen. <sighs> she apparently can't hear me very well. Let's call again. Operator, how may I help you? Could you connect me to the president, please? Resident Fleas, are you from that pest control company? No, I just want to talk to the president. Oh, you'd have to ask someone in authority. Try the president. Oh my gosh, she's being incredibly unhelpful. Operator, how may I help you? Can you hear anything I'm saying? Why, no, I'm not afraid of flying at all. Why do you ask? Never mind. I'm certain that they would, yes. Anything else? Operator, how may I help you? Is your refrigerator running? I'd love to, but I'm afraid I have to work. <laughs> okay. Operator, how may I help you? Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yes, I quite agree. Thank you. Um, what? Operator, how may I help you? Cucamonga! No, not on a hot day like today, no. What the heck? I've never called her this much. Operator, how may I help you? Resumitas! I'm sorry. We can't accept solicitations over the phone. Operator, how may I help you? Lima Bean. Are you now? How nice for you. How did she get a job as an operator? Operator, how may I help you? Captain Gelatin. Oh dear, that's <laughs> terrible. I had no idea. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Operator, how may I help you? Filibuster. All right, officer. I'll be on the lookout. Uh, and yes, we are pretty much just going to prank call people the whole episode. Operator, how may I help you? Lemonade. Yes, but I think the battery has gone dead. We'll do this a few more times. Operator, how may I help you? Lemonade. Okay, finally we reach, we reach the end. Let's call number one. The offices of Worldwide Weather are located directly upwards from your home or place of work, and we are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including holidays. Please call ahead for appointments. Thank you for calling Worldwide Weather. Well, that's very nice of him. Let's call number two. Make a suggestion. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Um, what about room temperature snow for the summer? Oh, we've already got that. It's called mud. I never thought of that. Thanks for your call. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, not quite, but yeah, you get the general idea. Also, take a look at the uh, potion to the far right when we dial again. Look familiar? Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Cherry-flavored rain! Cherry-flavored rain, eh? That's a pretty good idea. I'll put it on the list. Thanks for your call. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't like cherries, personally, but I think I'm in the minority there. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? 
How about weather, where the air gets thick so you can swim in it? You've obviously never been to Los Angeles. Well, no, but... <laughs> Thanks for your call. Sure. Uh, yeah, but that's pollution. I don't, I don't want that. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Um, let's see. Um... Look, I'm kind of busy here. Call me back when you thought of it. Okay. Bye-bye. Anything else? Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Um, let's see. Okay, that's it. All right, we saved the best for the last. If we call free, we reach the Complaints Department. Hello, Complaints Department. Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. And my back. Oh, I'm starting to get a sharp pain in my lower back from sitting in this stiff chair. Um... Thank you for calling the Complaints Department. You know, at most companies, the Complaints Department, you can complain to them about something the company's doing wrong. Not you call them so they can complain to you about their life. Hello, Complaints Department. Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. My next door neighbor plays his stereo so loud it's curdling the milk in my refrigerator. And all my cats are scared to come home. Thank you for calling the Complaints Department. Gee, this lady does not seem like she has a great home life, apparently. <laughs> Hello, Complaints Department. Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. This morning, I tried to buy some candy from the vending machine in the lunchroom, and it got stuck and wouldn't come out. I hate it when that happens. Thank you for calling the complaints department. Thank you for calling the complaints department. We are now on strike on account of I'm getting carpal tunnel syndrome from picking up the phone all day long. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it for this episode, but I mean, we haven't even gotten the main plot kicked off yet, so we should do that first. Let's go for this door. I don't mean to intrude, but perhaps I might offer a suggestion. Okay. That is a security door. Regrettable, I know, but we have to keep, shall we say, the less savory elements of society from wandering into the master control room and messing about. Savory? I don't mean you, of course, but <laughs> you will need an ID card if you want to go in there. Oh, thanks. Oh. You're quite welcome. I think I made a connection. That guy sounds very similar to the weasel, who's the, door, uh, the boat guard from Spy Fox 1. Some kind of lock. Well, we've got an ID card, so let's use it. Uh oh, I think it ate the card. I hope it wasn't too important. Well, Foster Boondoggle's gonna have to get a new ID card, apparently. Let's go on in! Oh, calm down, would you, dear? It's just a little boy. I'm Pajama Sam! I've come to put a stop to this thunderstorming business. Oh, yeah. I think we've really outdone ourselves this time. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, well, actually... I do enjoy a good storm. And it will be so helpful for the plants and things. I never... Oh no, how horribly terrible. Oh no, not the red button! Um, why do you have that button there if that's what it does? Engaging primary safety mechanism. Shifting power to backup generators. Adjusting horizontal hold. That should hold it for now. Damage report. Looks like a few pieces have been shaken loose. Oh my gosh! Look at this weather! Hurricanes in Egypt! Tornadoes in Toledo! This is going to take everything we've got. Um, can I help? Help! No one can help! We're doomed! Doomed! 
Quiet! As a matter of fact, there is something you can do. Lightning and I have important work to do here, so we need you to help fix the weather machine. How do I do that? This is a list of pieces that have come off the machines. We need you to find them and put them back where they belong. Will you do that? Never fear, ma'am. A jam of Sam always helps people in need. All right, that... I have a lot of questions. Why the heck do they have that button if it literally all it does is make the machines blow up? So, the pieces fall loose. I don't know. But we have our mission, and we will be continuing it in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you enjoy this series as much as I do. And I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.